In this video, we'll show you how to fix the blue screen of death stop error 0x800 720. The error 0x800 720 occurs when you try to start a website in IIS. First of all, go to the start menu and in the search bar type IIS. From the search results, open the Internet Information Services or IIS Manager. As a result, the IIS Manager window will open up. Over here, go to the left pane of the window, click on the triangle icon to expand the tree, and click on the default website. Now go to the right-hand side of the window and click on the Start button. As soon as we did that, an error popped up. The error will notify us that the process cannot access the file because it's being used by another process. The code for this error is 0x800720. Now let's troubleshoot the problem. Open the command prompt and type in the command netstat space dash aon find quotations colon 80 end quotations and hit the enter key. The netstat command refers to the network statistics and switches we're using. Over here, the switch A refers to all the connections and the listening ports. The switch O refers to the owning process ID associated with each connection, and the switch N refers to the address and the port numbers in numerical form. The port number we searched for in this tutorial was 80. You will notice that the port number 80 is listening, which means that it is being used by another process whose numerical ID is being shown. Now again, type the same command and find the port number 443. You will see that the port number 443 is also being used by the same process. Now right-click on the taskbar and click on the Start Task Manager option. As a result, the Task Manager will open up. In the Services tab, find the process ID which you saw in the command prompt. Once you've found this process ID, remember the service's name. Click on it and click on the Services button at the bottom right corner of the Task Manager. In the Services window, try to locate the service. Once you've found it, select it and stop the service. Now go back to the command prompt and type the netsat command for both the ports that you checked earlier. No result will be shown, which means that both ports which were being utilized by another process previously are free. Now go back to the IIS manager and click on the start button for the default website. You'll notice that it will start now without giving any error.